He was one of the most well-known lawyers and civil rights activists of the 20th century. William Kunstler defended the Chicago 7 and counted Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, and comedian Lenny Bruce among his clients. But after years of crusading for civil rights, Kunstler's career took a turn. Before his death in 1995, he took up the defense of such notorious criminals as the mastermind of the first World Trade Center bombing and Long Island Railroad shooter Colin Ferguson. And he's now the subject of a new documentary, William Kunstler, Disturbing the Universe, was directed by his two daughters, Emily and Sarah Kunstler, who join us now. Good morning. Good morning. What was it like growing up seeing your father involved in such important work? Well, the stories, you know, they were like our bedtime stories. We'd hear about the cases like, you know, the Chicago 8 or the work he did in the South with Martin Luther King, you know, when, when we were being tucked in at night. So it was really these sort of heroic stories of the past. Just to give everyone a taste, we have a clip. Um, just, and to set this up, it's the two of you. How old were you at the time? I think 14 and 15. Okay, Sorry. and you're, you're on so. TV doing an interview with him, and you confront him about some of the more controversial work he's doing. So let's take a listen. I was kind of wondering if ever you decided to take a case and then later, you know, did a double take and said, well, you know, this isn't, I shouldn't be doing this. This isn't something I, you know, that in my heart I believe is right. There have been a few times where I would want to get out of a particular case. That's true. But on the other hand, I always had the feeling that once you're in it, that you shouldn't leave it unless something climbed back. He never gave us a straight answer. And I decided I was never going to be like my father. Well, I don't want to be a lawyer. Me neither. Well, if you're both committed to change, at least this point, committed to changing things, if you're not lawyers, what do you think is the best vehicle to do that, to carry that out? Well, some people act and some people defend them. and. Maybe we're just people of action. And so, Emily, that's a pretty strong statement at that age to know you don't want to be like your father. How did that affect your relationship with him? Well, you know, he made some choices that made our lives difficult, but he always encouraged us to, to ask questions and to challenge him. He loved it when Sarah and I showed interest in the work that he did, and I think he was, he was proud of that. Tell us about the work he did, Sarah. Um, there were some seminal moments in his career that changed his view of law, of, um, of the people he was fighting for. Um, in one particular moment um, when he was in Chicago representing um, a Black Panther. Tell us about that. Well, he was in Chicago representing the, um, the Chicago 8, and uh, Black Panther leader Fred Hampton was murdered during the Chicago 8 trial. He wasn't one of the defendants, but he was a supporter of Bobby Seale in the defense and he was murdered in his home by the Chicago Police Department. And that murder, that, you know, being in Chicago and seeing that happen uh, changed his life. He realized that at that moment that the government would stop at nothing to destroy people it viewed as its enemies, and it changed him forever. And so overall, do you think that he was a good lawyer? I mean, of course, a good lawyer in the courtroom, but a lawyer for good. You know, I think so. When, when you're kids and you're, and you're looking at your parents, you want everything to be black and white. You want things to be, to be clear. But when you're dealing with human beings, nothing's ever that clear. I think ultimately, looking back at his, at his career, I think that he definitely um, s stood up for the underdog, or at least tried to, and, and put himself um, in a role as, as, as spokesperson and protector. All right, Emily and Sarah Kunstler, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And for more information on this, you can go to our website, cbsnews.com. Again, the documentary is William Kunstler, Disturbing the Universe.